Hey everyone, welcome back to another Spirit Baby Reading. This week, the babies want to talk about conception manifestation. Um, I actually have the song stuck in my head already. It's the Michael Bublé remix of I'm Feeling Good. The Spirit Babies are singing that at the top of their lungs. So, we got some very positive energy here. They're very excited. And let's dig in and see why. What's up with the Spirit Babies? Also, I added more crystals as requested. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. So a lot of change is happening right now in the spirit baby realm, preparing for their conception manifestation. Um, and I want to clarify, I say manifestation because spirit babies can come to us in all forms. So they can be children that you conceive naturally through fertility treatments, or they can be a child that you adopt. Um, or a loved one's future child that you will be close with. So they do manifest in different ways. What they're saying here is that there's a lot of preparations going on for their manifestation and it's going to be happening very, very quickly. So for those of you who have been waiting for your spirit baby to manifest, they're on it. For those of you who have a little feeling that you may have this spirit baby come sooner rather than later, they're on it. The Wheel of Fortune represents a cycle turning, so it's their way of saying that your turn is coming up for this manifestation. Um, and it also, the wheel here represents big life changes. So if you want your baby to manifest as soon as possible, um, but of course within divine timing, but you feel like you aren't ready to manifest your baby, that there is a block or, um, it doesn't necessarily feel like the right time, even though you want it to be the right time. Your spirit baby is saying that something will shift in your energy and in your life that will help progress their manifestation. So there are changes happening all around you that will support your baby manifesting. Six of Swords here, they are coming quickly. Um, within the next few weeks to maybe three months for some of you, you're going to feel this desire to manifest your baby. Um, there could be changes in your cycle, in your hormones. It can be just a lot going on that the babies are helping um, promote in your body or in your situation in order for them to manifest. They are busy bees. That's all I got to say. They're also reassuring you that they're going to be opening up clarity and communication with you. They don't want any secrets. Um, they want to make sure that you're on this path together. No more hiding is what they're saying with that four of pentacles. And for some of you, this may be their personality. Um, they may start to initiate communication more. Uh, for those of you who haven't communicated with your baby yet, that may be starting very soon. Oh, and the Four of Wands, which is a happy family card. It's a home card. So the babies are excited for this. They want to manifest. They've been waiting a long time to manifest. And they know you've been waiting a long time for them to manifest as well. So it's just an overall celebratory energy that's going on right now. So what else about conception? Let's get into it a little bit more. Some advice, perhaps. we have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is all about, you know, focusing on her passions, pursuing her passions. And um, it also represents Sagittarius energy. So the Sagittarius season may be really important for you or um, for their conception. It may be the beginning of their conception or their conception journey. Um, there's also, again, a lot of communication here, really working as a team, you and your baby. Um, a lot of support coming in through with this Queen of Wands. They just want you to know that, well, they're reminding you that nobody's birth plan will happen 100% as they want it, right? And that kind of ties in with conception. Not all of you will have the conception that you dream of. If In fact, most of you won't have it in that way because you're supposed to be fluid, with divine timing, going with the flow. So your baby is just reminding you to just 
keep that fluidity within you and within the circumstance, okay? They want to come, they are coming, but there will be bumps along the road that they have to account for. So they have like a contingency plan almost, and they want you to be part of that, and they want you to be okay with that. Again, this is all about teamwork between you, your partner, your baby. We have the Three of Cups. Again, celebrations. This is a baby shower card. It's also um, a reconnecting card. So your baby is saying that they are about to reconnect with you in the physical, in the 3D. As well as other babies. So it's quite possible a few of you will have children around the same age, especially if your friends are starting to have kids. Your spirit baby is saying that they are already acquainted with your friend's kids. And um, all the spirit babies in this community, you and your friend's spirit babies, I mean, they've all discussed their birth plans and, and their birth order so that they can be around the same age, um, so that they can play together and they can grow up together because they are lifelong relationships that they formed in the spirit baby realm. So if a lot of you are seeing that friends are... Um, Friends, loved ones, family members, they're all, you know, conceiving or manifesting their babies, then this is a, a hint that your baby is on their way as well. So what else do the babies want to say this week? It's a very short message with their conception. They're like, yeah, we're coming. Don't worry about it. We've got this under control. So what other guidance do they have for you? In general Ooh, two of swords you're being called to make a decision um, and you will not receive your abundance or the new opportunities that you desire until you make this decision and this decision it doesn't have to be super scary um, they want you to know that there's no right or wrong answer when making this decision it's just you're at a crossroads and you're feeling stuck, you're feeling paused. So you have to make a decision. You have to say where you want to go right now, but also allow that other route to be open if you ever want to go back to it. Remember, this is your life. You are the CEO, you are the author of your life. You get to experience the things that you want to experience. So instead of having this crossroads weigh heavy on you, Listen to your heart, listen to your desires, and choose the path that resonates with you the most right now. And once you do that, that is when you will be able to receive all of your abundance, the new opportunities, the new connections you're going to make. Um, that's when you're going to receive all of this. What other general guidance do the babies have? Ace of Wands. So we have a lot of creativity with the Ace. Um, passions, inspiration, really follow your inspirations or uh, allow yourself to be inspired. So if you're feeling like you're in a tough spot right now, do the things that you enjoy that will help inspire you. So if you're feeling burnt out, take a break. Watch your favorite shows, do your favorite hobbies, um, hang out with friends, whatever it is that can help inspire you and uplift your mood a bit. They really want you to focus on that because that is part of your health. Also, we have quite a few fire cards here with all these wands. Um, and it's actually really warm right now. Like I'm getting really warm. So this could represent a fire sign specifically in your life, or it can represent the fire season, meaning that the fire season is important to you or it's important to the baby. Um, but it also feels like the preparations that are happening right now for your spirit baby manifestation and even your desires manifesting will come to fruition in the summer months. Um, that's when it's going to fully come into bloom. So you're essentially planting the seeds right now and then you'll be able to harvest it all in the summer. Some of you may be able to harvest uh, sooner or you may be able to, to harvest smaller portions of this desire of yours or the spirit baby manifestation along the way to the summer months. But for a majority of you, it really feels like the summer is that golden ticket. And um, 
<laughs> spirit babies know that waiting until the summer is not what you want. They understand this. They know that you're a little heartbroken about this. Um, some of you may have trust issues right now about your spirit baby manifesting, saying things like, oh, I have to wait even longer. Like, I've been waiting. When's it going to happen? And your babies are just asking you to trust them. They know you've been on this journey for a while. They've been right there beside you this whole time. And they also feel the same feelings that you have, you know. They're distraught. They're annoyed. They're dissatisfied with the situation because they want to be with you in the 3D ASAP. So they're not doing this. They're not holding out on you with the manifestation because they want to. No, no, no. They want to be with you. But they have to follow a certain, you know, divine order, if you will. They have a birth plan. They have a divine timing um, for their conception, for their birth, and all the other things in their life. And they have to wait according to that. When they jump the line, that is when chaos ensues. And we do not want chaos. Chaos can manifest in many different ways when it comes to spirit baby manifestation. Um, it can result in um, pregnancy loss. Um, it can result in a difficult pregnancy. So we want to steer clear of that at all costs. And so even though the babies are really impatient and they want to be with you, they understand that if they take action when they're not meant to, it can hurt both you and them, as well as your relationship to each other. And they don't want to jeopardize that. So yes, you are both feeling this Three of Swords energy, but they are asking you, please just trust the situation. They are frustrated as well, but you will get through this together. What else for conception? It doesn't feel like they want to um, clarify on conception, so they don't want to dive into um, what kind of conception this is, fertility treatments, for example. Um, they don't really want to give too much away in that regard. They're just saying that overall conception manifestation is coming for you. Those of you who have been waiting a while. What about signs? So not really a sign here with the Nine of Wands. It's more like a cautionary tale. Um, this is regarding burnt out um, or feelings of depression, feeling that everything is going wrong in your life right now. They want you to know that this energy, it's a distraction. It's... It's almost like the ego trying to pull you away from receiving what is truly yours, what you desire. So try not to let these feelings get to you because it will affect you and it kind of puts everything on pause when it comes to your manifestations, both spirit baby and um, desires. So they want you to remember that this time shall pass, okay? If you're feeling down the, in the slump, if you're not feeling well, if you're feeling depressed, if you're having a lot of burnt out energy right now, take as much time as you need to take that step back out of that situation and heal. And I know it's easier said than done. I do know that. And they know that too. But they are imploring you to do whatever you can. Take the baby steps you need to start healing from this energy and to refill your cup. Okay. They do not want to manifest. Some of them can't manifest when you're in this energy. Um, they just physically cannot manifest. Others, they can, but they choose not to because they don't want to add even more burden onto you, you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. So that's why your health in all areas of health is so important to their manifestation. And it's also important to your desires manifesting because you want to attract the energy that you're looking for, right? So if you're in this energy, you unconsciously can attract more of this energy. That's why the saying, be careful what you think, is so powerful. It's so true. So if you are feeling like the Nine of Wands, um, please, please, please take care of yourself at this time. 
We also have the death card here representing transformations. So we are still in Scorpio season. I love this season. There's a lot of changes going on right now. Be gentle with yourself. Allow the changes to happen. Don't run away from it. Don't try to push against it, all right? The change is happening right now. Like I said earlier, it's allowing the foundation to be built upon where your desires will fully manifest and then you can fully harvest it. So try not to fight that. Go with the flow. This is a very like crazy time energetically right now. Um, it's also a crazy time for you personally because this is allowing you to shed your skin and start fresh. People say that, you know, New Year's is important, but the Scorpio season is, is very important because it's similar to New Year in the sense that it's a fresh beginning, okay? So take that, that opportunity, focus on your manifestations, what is it you truly desire, um, reorganize whatever you can in your life, be it cleaning out your house, applying to new jobs, um, taking a step back from the things that burn you out or that just no longer resonate. And if that is work for some of you, it's hard. I'm not telling you to quit your job. Do not quit your job unless you are feeling called to do that. But if you can, take a step back in whatever way. So if you're doing a lot of overtime, um, take a day off of doing overtime, especially if you're not being paid for that. Um, take a sick day if you can, a mental health day. Um, delegate more of your work if possible. Do things at your own pace. Don't try to work. You're not a machine, okay? So don't try to overwork yourself because that will lead to health problems. Um, with the transformation happening right now for you and also for your spirit baby, it's a very uplifting time. Um, it's a very magical time. The babies want me, me to use the word magical. And um, they're showing me the clip of Beauty and the Beast where at the end, the beast turns back into his human form. Um, you know how the transformation alone, how it's very like the swirls everywhere and and it's, it's very Disney-esque, right? That's what the babies are showing me right now. That is what's happening for you, for your situation, for the people in your life. This, this is a whole like new beginning for a whole bunch of you. So for you watching it, but also the people surrounding you and also for the babies. They're all going through this this transformation. So just be very gentle with all of yourselves. Allow it to happen. Don't fight it. Now let's get a closing message. We have, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, new 3D beginnings, abundance. It is coming your way. Please trust that. It is true and it will be happening in baby steps, okay? You're not going to wake up tomorrow a millionaire or a celebrity or the CEO of a company. You have to put in the work as well as receiving the abundance. It goes hand in hand. You're not going to be given a handout, okay? That's why it's important to work hard but also to rest because that is part of the cycle of receiving this abundance. You also have the Seven of Pentacles, which is the harvesting card. So in its reverse state, it means that it's not time to harvest just yet, but that time is coming. Again, more pentacles, more abundance, um, more 3D energy, more earth energy as well. If you're feeling called to go out in nature, if you can, just to reconnect and ground yourself, please do so. We have the Four of Swords, so it's time to take action or the time to take action is approaching. Again, take this time to really meditate, focus on the desires you want to manifest, work on your manifestation list, your, um, your vision board, all those things that you love to do, and then take action on it when the time is right. For some of you, it's going to be this winter season, so December mostly. For others, you may be guided to do so in February. Just know that the time to rest is slowly ending, so really recuperate, okay? work on those manifestations, prepare yourself for the battle that is um, this journey. And battle may not be the right word here, but that's what the babies are calling it. Okay, last card, closing message. We have the Knight of Swords. So again, more communication. Um, there's also a dream quality to the Knight of Swords in this, in this imagery. Where dreams can come true, dreams are coming true, um, wish upon a star. 
you have to know that there is no limit. You give yourself a limit when you allow your fears and doubts to bring you down. You can achieve anything you want to achieve in life. That is 100% true no matter your age or your circumstance. There is a way to receive your dreams and to work towards your dreams. So again, with this transformation energy, really hone in on that and focus on the things you want to manifest. Figure out a plan to do it. And trust me, you're not going to have all the answers and that's okay. You're not meant to have all the answers. If you had all the answers, what's the point of taking these life lessons, taking these like quizzes and, and moving forward, right? Just know that there really is no limit. So stop limiting yourself and allow yourself to receive all the things that you truly want to receive. If you want to receive something that you're kind of like, eh, it's fun, I just want it, that's cool too, okay? But if you have those big dreams and desires, really put it in focus. Don't hyper-focus on it, don't, um, don't like manage everything, but just keep it there on your vision board, wherever you manifest. Just keep it in the back of your mind that this is my goal. This is my long-term goal. That's what we're talking about here. You can also have short-term goals, but really think about long-term goals at this time and um, think about how you want to achieve it. What is this goal? How does it reflect upon you? Like, What does it mean to you to have that goal? Why do you want it? Um, just really ask yourself the hard questions about this goal because the more you know about it, and the more you're able to focus on what you truly desire within that goal, the easier it is for you to manifest it and to really focus on it and work towards it. So for example, if your goal is to um, have a, a three car garage with a swimming pool and a tennis court in the backyard, focus on that, you know? How, where do you want it to be? Um, what kind of interior design do you want it to be? You know, if your goal is to start a business, focus on that. How do you want to approach it? What do you want to sell? What do you enjoy doing? How can you monetize that? What platform you want to use? Are you shipping? Are you not shipping? It's really just making a really rough schematic of the game plan to reach your goal. But don't stress about it and don't micromanage it, okay? You have to be fluid in this. Same with your spirit baby. If your goal is to have more children, have like five, ten children, um, focus on the manifestation of that. Do you want them to be certain ages apart? What do you want to be doing for your career when they manifest? Just start to think about it. You know, put the put the wheels in motion, um, the manifestation wheels to be exact. So that was this week's reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you next week.